guys, it's Dan here, and it's time for my take on the one, the only, the infamous lady killer, Allure Ohm Sport. Uh, a woody spicy fragrance brought to us from the house of Chanel in 2004. Now the perfumer behind this is Jacques Pogue, and uh, I guess he's been the in-house perfumer for the house of Chanel since 1978. So this man has created uh, lots of things that we have all come to love, so that's great. Now, uh, as far as uh, you know, me getting to this, this one has taken me a while to get to, and I think it's because you know, there's just so much hype and so much talk about it, and it's so popular. I just, it really never, like, uh, grabbed my attention. You know, I really wasn't uh, too interested in getting to it fast. But uh, I am glad that I finally have, because uh, quite a treasure it is. Uh, with that in mind, let's, uh, let's do the rundown of the notes and find out what's in this bad boy. At the top, we've got aldehydes, mandarin, orange, and aquatic notes, and in the heart, We've got uh, black pepper and rolling cedar, and at the base we've got tonka, vetiver, amber, and white musk. Now, as for me, what I get out of this, uh, to sum it up in a few words, uh, just a creamy, slightly powdery, fresh fragrance. But that's not all it is. If that was just all it is, it would be pretty dull. There's little pinches of other things to make this beautiful, to make this classy, and to make this elegant and smooth. You're going to get a pinch of the aquatic notes, a pinch of the um, orange, and a pinch of the vetiver, which I love. You know, that definitely makes this an interesting, fresh scent to me. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing poorly done about this at all. Uh, just a beautiful, smooth, classy fragrance all around. Definitely. Uh, excellent, excellent, fresh, clean scent. Now, as far as the way this progresses on my skin, um, it pretty much stays the same throughout the whole thing. Just the last couple of hours, uh, just get a little dull as it starts to fade off. And I get about eight hours, so that's great. You know, for a fresh scent, I appreciate that. That's great. And as far as projection, uh, this thing does its job, and it does it well. Uh, you get noticed, and the ladies will let you know. So you got to love that. Now, what I attribute the creaminess and the powderiness to in the scent is going to be the tonka and the white musk. You know, uh, definitely something different, I think. When somebody says that this smells like a typical fresh scent, I don't get that. Uh, I think this is definitely something uh, different all its own, and uh, I have much respect for it for that. Now, there's been comparisons with this with Versace's Pour Homme, so I did a little test, me and Amanda did, and I gotta tell you, they're definitely different, unless it works different on your skin. But as for me, Versace's Pour Homme is gonna be more transparent, it's gonna be uh, more bright, it's definitely less creamy, it's more uh, more of an aquatic like lime type feel to it where this fragrance is definitely creamy. She is a little thick. Now as far as the name behind it, you know the sport, I don't get that at all. This is not what I would be looking for in a sport fragrance. It's a little too heavy and I would like something a little more transparent. Uh, if I was working up my body heat, you know, this one is just too thick, too dense. But as far as like the people that I could see wearing this, this is another one that uh, fits the bill for everybody. Young guy in jeans and a t-shirt or an older gentleman putting on a suit and tie and heading off to work. Uh, there is nothing that is distasteful about this. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Just a very elegant, classy, classy, fresh scent. You cannot go wrong with this for sure. I can see why there is tons of love out there for this. Um, as far as reviews in the community goes, of course there's lots of love. We all know that. <laughs> On base notes, uh, this gets 72 positives. 19 neutrals and 17 negatives and on Fragrantica it gets 99 loves, 52 likes and 20 dislikes. So there's lots of love there. But my man Lugaturin, he gives it one star. I don't get it. 
we all know he's crazy on that one because look at all the ladies, <laughs> you know, that love this. And look at all the men that love this, you know, definitely. Uh, there's got to be something to be said for that. I think he was wrong on this one. I would give it, I would give it at least a three to four stars somewhere in there for sure. Not five because that one's taken by Creed's Millicent Imperial. <laughs> Can't have that one. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, you know, this is definitely an excellent, excellent fresh fragrance that could be used all year round. Not just for the summer, perfect for spring, perfect for fall, you know, perfect for winter, whenever you want to wear it. <laughs> you know, this stuff is just great. Uh, definitely excellent choice for a signature scent, definitely. Now, as far as the women at work go, damn, of course this one did very well. And in fact, uh, the first wearing of this uh, walking into work, there was uh, a younger lady behind me, and she goes, Damn, what are you wearing today, Dan? Because you smell good. And I'm like, Really? You like that? I'm like, I know. Because when you wear this, at least for me, um, I feel good. I feel clean. I feel confident. I feel uh, like I smell damn good, just like she says. And nothing beats that feeling. You know, that's great. And, uh, Everyone that got their nose on this uh, just was nothing good to say, except for a couple people said that it just smelled like your usual fresh fragrance that you smell out there. And I didn't get any of those comments like, now that's the panty dropper, Dan, you know, but I did get a couple of you smell damn good, you know, and uh, pretty much every lady that got her whip on this said that it was a great smell. You know, so it definitely works with the women for sure. And it works for me too because I happen to think the smell is just excellent. Not going against the grain on this one for sure. I agree with most of you. This is definitely something else. Definitely quality good stuff. But uh, with that in mind, let's take it to the next level and let's find out what Amanda thinks of this lady killer. Alright guys, let's find out what Amanda thinks about this lady killer. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, but it smells like something else, though, that is familiar. Yeah, it's got a familiar vibe to it, like a fresh scent. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's really good. I like it. Although when I when, I, when you were testing it, I couldn't smell it from, from a distance. You almost had to get up close to it, for me anyway. Yeah. Like it was too close to the skin. He really likes that one, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. damn good. I feel pretty, uh, I don't know, I feel pretty confident, feel pretty clean when I'm wearing it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can see why a lot of people like this one for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a good smell. Is it kind of sexy? Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. What do you mean, no? <laughs> we got a little voice here in the background saying it's not sexy. What do you know? <laughs> you can't even smell it. You're way over there. <laughs> it's getting me up. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not bad. I mean, I don't know. I guess no. it has to be a right place for that. I don't. I, no. I don't see it being too sexy, but. No. Pretty no. Good. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I guess that is. Uh, that's it. That is our take on this bad boy. So hope you guys enjoyed and as always uh, take care and we will see you soon. Bye.